If you're not a go-getter, if you ain't got the heart to go out and take what you want, shut up. Nah. We need them in life. That's that's why that's why the I'm not saying we don't need them. I'm just saying shut up. Nah, we need them no, to keep we need talking. That. No, we need that. We need that opinion. Yeah, we need that. If the three of us, if the three of us sat on here and, and agreed, this would be a shitty show. <sighs> I, I, there's no question. It would. This I think people are enjoying this, and and I'm enjoying it. it it's, it's it's awesome. Hey, that's what. But, it's supposed but, to be. but but we, you're undercutting, contradicting, disagreeing which is no problem, but my message that I'm trying to send to young people with, go get what you want. It's out there in America. This whole thing, nobody gets handed anything. And and the people that do all the whining and complaining, you're not going to get nothing because you're just sitting around whining and complaining. They're going to get gonna... something. There's a chance for them to get something. Somebody going to do something for it. Some, some, they're just waiting. If you're, sit, if you're but a I don't, man, but I don't want you to, me to count every day, here, here's, here's what can happen. With, There's a here's what happen. every day. Here's what happened, okay? Wow. Without undercutting, all right, and without doing all the other stuff you said, we can have a difference of opinion. Yes, of and course. And it's none of those negative things. It's just What, what did I say was negative? Undercutting. That's not negative. That's just you're contradicting, disagreeing with my message. Hey, man, I ain't never seen nobody <laughs> that undercutting. I'm okay. just saying we have a difference of, of opinion. opinion. Right. That's it. Agree to disagree. That's it. That's it. Like, let's. I, I, I want. I want them to know that they have options in life. I d- and the number one option they need to take is to go get it. You don't get to decide quit. that for them. I know I don't. No, but, but you I'm are. just giving the them advice. But you are. It. Know the route to go but get it. But you are. And then tell them if they don't like the route, shut the hell up. You wild with it. Like the minute you say, <laughs> the minute you it. say this is the number one thing, <laughs> you've decided you for You decided them. the number one thing. It's not just advice. It's the number one thing. This Here's is it. the number one thing. Now, I will agree with the, the number one thing. Trust me. If, if you get right with God and get into your Bible and realize that you are in God. Is that a new thing? Now, now, you, new now you can't make it in life if you don't believe in God based on what you're saying. It's tougher. It's a lot tougher. Wow. It's okay, say tough. that then. But what because it's but Are you afraid to burn in hell? Excuse me? Are you afraid to burn in hell? Yeah. Okay, just check it. Yeah. Yeah. And and but but even more than that though, as I know that there's a wisdom spelled out in the Bible that's undefeated. You can't lose if you follow that wisdom and guidance, and and that, and again, I don't I don't know coming in at this moment. I don't know where y'all stand on religious beliefs, but that's part of the disconnect that I think I'm hearing is just like I have a biblical worldview that I can't be a victim because I'm with Jesus Christ. I can't, there's nothing I can't accomplish because I'm with Jesus Christ. Walking in the light. I've seen so many of my friends that are like me, not the sharpest tools in the shed, but have a biblical understanding and it makes them smarter. It makes them appear smarter. People foolishly think that I'm smart and then I show them my transcripts. And and so here's my question. When you had that 2.3 and you were smoking weed, were you within this biblical sense as well then? Yeah, or you just but, got this? but I was backsliding. Okay, all right. Yeah, but yeah, I grew up in the church, and yes, all these... Pre- my father put his... No, I'm my just father, saying, no, no, I just, I wanted to make sure. I didn't yeah. know if this was like... No, you know, you, if you turn were, over, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. Because, because, because somebody might be sitting at home right now, and they have the same thing that you have. They need to know that at one point in time, you were on a slippy slide. No question. But again, my grandmother planted some seeds in me, a church planted some seeds in me. And then my father, who wasn't a religious person, he, he backed it up with the principles he applied in life. And they he didn't know it, but they were very consistent with what's in the Bible. And, uh, you know, he, he wasn't a religious person, but he was a Booker T. Washington. I'm going to cast down my bucket here. I'm going to block out all the noise. And I'm going to make my happiness right here where I'm happy. I'm off. I'm, 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 I'm on that. I like that. Which like Bible, that. by the way? <laughs> King James. It, 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 start with any of the Bibles. I'm just. I'm just asking. Just asking. I, I would. All. I would. You know. Your version of the Bible. Who wrote it? 
Five thousand year old story. That's not on first, second hand account, third, fourth hand account. Saying, because if a white man wrote it, your dad, he, I don't know if he should have been reading that. But my I, I, one, I told you, my dad's not religious. I'm just I wasn't, saying, wasn't religious, but it, the color of the skin of whoever wrote it is a thousand percent irrelevant. Not true. Not not true. If 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 like like all of this not lined up, your math ain't mathing right now. Why the color of the skin of who? I don't. If if the white dude here told me today is Thursday, that's just a fact. If you told me today is Thursday, that's just a fact. I don't care who tells that's the truth. That's easily deter- de- discernible fact. So, so are the things written in the Bible, but you know that's that's a yes. So are the things written in the Bible. Walking on the, water. But I'm I'm just I'm just in this <laughs> like One, two fish, five <laughs> loaves of bread. <laughs> Water the wine, <laughs> splitting the Red Sea, <laughs> and and so and as 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 crazy as you think those things are, I didn't say it was crazy. I'm just I'm just calling them out. Okay, but but as crazy as someone listening might think that sounds, I'm look I'm living in America right now, where they're having a debate about whether men can have babies, and you want to question my Bible? Who's having that debate? Come on, Warren. I, I didn't. I didn't know this. It's birthing it's, people hold on, hold on, hold on. and all this other stuff. It's, Stop it. Now, 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 let me go to your world. Y'all Listen. sitting around pretending like y'all want to. Oh, we can't get an opportunity. And y'all sitting no, around saying that's not nothing. True. Y'all, that's not let true. me finish. No. Let me finish. Y'all Mm-mm. sitting around saying nothing as they inject all these women into the NFL. Mm-mm. We got sideline judges, assistant coaches, executives, Mm-mm. and but but we can't get an opportunity. But y'all say I, I nothing have, have, when they sliding all these women into a game that you built and it's meant for men. But but I'm the crazy person because I believe in the Bible and I'm sitting here watching them <laughs> uh, move hey. men out of leadership positions hey. and move women in to spaces Wait, like- reserved for men. And, and no one says a word, but you want to know, like the you line know wrong. You want to know where it all started? What? It all started when Phyllis Gregg, huh? When the expert <laughs> of no, 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 no. <laughs> it all started. It all started when the expert opinion about about playing a sport and how to play a sport. It was when it became okay for journalists to become experts, as if they knew because they was around and they've been around it. When you change that, when you don't ha- actually have to do something. To be an expert, then everybody can do it. Anybody can do it. I watched the lady rep call it illegal use of the helmet on number 26 the other day, and I say, I've never heard of that damn call. But she read it. She read it in like, the like, book. Like, 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 how do you illegally use your helmet? It's not, it's, it's. You, and, then, you, and then you watch Shiloh hit this man with his show. How am I supposed to take my head out of that? You can't. You can't. But it's the. How it's, do I lead with my shoulder and take my head? Let me, let, me, let me go to Marshall's point. I, I don't think, and I'm speculating here a little bit, but I'm going based off of his appearance. Like, like take Hank Stram. He's like 5'6. Yeah. He didn't play football. No. But he's a Hall of Fame coach. Now, because, because he's a good coach and he had good players. I'm, he's, I'm sure it was a combination of both. I mean, that. Right. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you were to put Hank. On a bad team, does that team get better? I think he took over. You know, he probably took over from a coach that got fired. So yeah, I'm sure he built up the team. We don't. I, we don't know. I, I, I know I Vince. Have, uh, we'll take Vince Lombardi. He did. He wasn't no hellfire football player. He was pretty short. He took over the Green Bay Packers. They were trash. And what they got good players. They got good players. <laughs> got you. <laughs> but he listen, coached, listen, he man, coached listen. them too. Hey, listen, hey, hey. listen to me. All right. These that were receivers that they said all of a sudden uh, 85 and the, the other white boys play this position, you're going to have to go play defense. Them defenders? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, Dave Robinson, what, what's Dave your Robinson was, they, didn't, they didn't draft black uh, linebackers in the first round in the 60s. Joe Paterno took my classmate Dave Robinson to Lombardi and said, the best linebacker I've ever coached in, in college. And Lombardi takes him with the what, 18th pick or 20 something pick like that? They didn't pick us. And when they did get us, we weren't going to play the glory positions. We're going to have to go on defense. How's that connected to his point that. That's how he won. He had better players. Okay, but he coached, but he's saying that journalists as experts or people that didn't play the game as experts is. No, I'm saying how we. 
how can you're wondering how can you be okay with women coaching exactly. that game? Or oh, get into that. What, what I was saying to you is because everything evolves as we accept the expert opinion of someone who wrote about the game, talked about the game, and saw the game as an expert. We start to allow other okay, things well, to filter on. in hold as on, well. On, but, but, okay, so a journalist starts out writing, or most real right. journalists start out writing, and you got to have a skill to write, and and so <laughs> that, that's a skill. But <laughs> journalists aren't becoming coaches. I, I'm looking no, at people. No, 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 no. no. I, I was talking about journalists are talking about sports in an expert opinion. Like yeah. they're they're giving expert opinion of a sport. Give me an example of one. I'm not I got you. Give me I'm one. not doing that. Why not? I will. Why not? Why not? I will. I mean, I, I can... football, pro football focus put up a couple years ago, Aaron Donald being double teamed 70% of the time. I was like, what the hell? So I went in, went in the state. 15 plays, 15 plays, 15 plays. He was doubled seven times out of these 45 plays. Like, like who's doing this? Like the other uh, beginning Former, of this year. The pro football focus, that's founded by Chris Collins. Right? I know who it it's is, and I, of, I spoke to him. It's a bunch of former coaches that are doing the evaluation. No, they do it off a, a mold because they did it this year with Khalil Mack had 0% win pass rush. I'll show you the guy. It's in, it's in my Twitter. So I hit the guy back, and I showed him a clip. I said, that's a win. Under 2.5 seconds, he made the move. Quarterback let go the ball. You don't decide when you get the sack. You just have to be there when the opportunity presents itself. Hold on. So I asked him, I said, who is doing these judgments of who's winning one-on-one? It's a model. I said, a swimsuit or a hand model? <laughs> I don't understand. What are we doing here? And who the hell put this model together for you to tell the world if a pass rusher is winning pass rusher? Only, I'm sorry, but he's, Marshall's halfway triggered me. The only journalist I like it. that I see that are being passed off as football experts is Mina Kimes. Mike Florio. Mike Florio, that's a gossip blog. Like I said, it's on, he on that, he on that's, that. that's a gossip blog. That, that's not, he's, I don't go he's to, known. I don't, I don't go to Mike, I don't go to Mike Florio or Dove Kleiman to get analysis of football. ESPN's passing off Mina Kimes as a football expert. They've got this woman, Kimberly Martin, up there oh, talking true. football. And she's as an opinionist. Yeah. Everybody else, to me, for my is a former athlete. Okay, that's passing off their opinions as it relates to football. Now, do Tony Kornheiser and Mike Wilbon on Pardon the Interruption debate football from a fan's perspective or from a journalist's perspective? From a journalist's perspective, yes. What, what? What? That's problematic. I didn't say it was. I just gave you an example of. The evolution of the game and where oh, we're we got at. the standards down. To let if we're going to be the referee, if, if, a, if a woman can be a coach, if, you know what I'm saying. That's all I was. I okay, was just giving you a evolution of the game. Though, let's go back to 1970s NFL today. Yep, those were broadcasters pregame shows mm -hmm. talking about football. Right, and there would be a athlete in there mixed with Jimmy the Greek and Irv Cross, Cross. and Phyllis Jor, whoever. Uh -huh. Blah blah blah. But and they were doing a, they were doing jokes. And 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 um, betting highlights. stuff and yeah. Yep. But it, I don't know who. Now I don't watch the NFL Network, so maybe I'm oblivious. But I do. They have installed women as host of most of these shows, but they're not giving. Again, it's like ESPN show. It's Samantha Ponder surrounded by a former coach and a bunch of former players. That's that's the standard. But listen, listen to. Just listen to how it said. Listen to what's injected into the question. Just, just, just listen. I, do I think Samantha Palmer is the best host for a football show? No, I, I, I don't even. I know, know you're I, not naming her. I've but never I, even watched. I've never even watched. <laughs> I, I, I'm just trying to. Athletes are dominant. Does Adam Schefter come on and give information? This guy got traded. This guy's hurt. Jay that's, Glazer. That's, Adam, Adam's being a journalist. Yeah, Jay Glazer. Blah blah blah. I go to the NFL desk on Fox. That's all. Coaches and players. Okay. No. Kirk. 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 Kirk Menifee looked at JJ Watt and asked him, "Was he on the team with when when somebody did something?" And he said, "I was in college or a freshman in high school." So, 
That that's that's not to, that's not to show you only watch what we're watching. <laughs> well, we got a thousand percent sidetrack. Sometimes it happens. It it does. I, I want to I want to go to uh, it's because you got triggered. <laughs> I, I really did. I, I really did. The snowflake over here melting on us. I did. I did. 